say it. Oi. Oh my god, we've hit the bottom and oh my god, shit, this is not good. <laughs> Hi. Welcome back. We've got a bit of a different episode for you guys today. If you watched our last episode, you'll probably know where we are. You could show them where we are and they can guess. Can you guess? Does that give you a hint? <laughs> Does this thing give you a hint? Hey! We're in Tasmania and we're in the Bay of Fires. It's actually gorge right here. This is our campsite. Yeah, this is our campsite right here. We borrowed Dad's car. Thanks, Dad. So we thought while we are down here for some weddings that we'd take you guys on a bit of a trip around Tasmania and show you guys the best spot. This is probably one of the most gorgeous places in Tasmania. I mean, it, it's super overcast now. It's been, the weather was supposed to be good today, but we drove up through like a ridiculous hailstorm. Oh my God, there's hail. Oh my god, they're like golf balls. They are so big. Wow. Holy crap. Look at this. Ow. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at one there. This is insane. This is crazy. And torrential downpour. We're here now, hope for some good weather over the next few days, and we're gonna show you some like wicked spots around Tasmania. So when you guys come down here, you've got the insider knowledge. Hazel, come out of there, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go down and check the water temperature because last time I went in the water, wait, 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 I was in wait. Brisbane. I don't have time for you. So we're thinking about bringing Hazel back with us to Adelaide, as you probably already know. She's a good adventure dog. Not good fur though, it gets full of buzzies. Look how amazing this place is. Oh my God, I'm sorry. I didn't realize my hair looked like this. Are you guys vibing the double denim though? <laughs> that is so cold. It's hurt, like it hurts my feet. <laughs> that is so cold. All right. So, that's the verdict. It's cold here, but the weather's actually been pretty mint. Like, I'm wearing a skirt and I'm not even that cold. Look how clear the water is. Look at how, yeah, the water is so clear. Yeah. All right, let's go set up our tent. We're sleeping in luxury tonight. Jacob was just saying, you know, it's gonna be so mint. Midges do not exist in Tasmania, if you didn't know. And mosquitoes only really exist in summer. Can you please tell me when I'm level? Okay. You guys, just let him know when he's level. Say when, say when. Say it. That's not level. That's not level. Yeah, I figured that. Or they didn't say, I asked them to say, and no one said. No one said when. Perfect. Now, how much wood could a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck wood? How much? Let me know down in the comments. So that's good. We just woke up with slightly swollen feet, but that never hurt anyone, did it? So tell me, do you guys want a house tour? House tour! Here's a good tip for you guys if you own one of these rooftop tents. Rather than pegging these down, you put them under the ladder there, and then when you put your weight on, it's never gonna go, and then you don't ever have to have pegs, and then this never blows back. <laughs> I've owned a rooftop tent before. Sit Please down, sit. sit. Thank you. Pat her, pat her, you have to pat her when she sits. So, this is pretty new to me in that I probably have only been here for like five minutes, but this is our rooftop tent. It folds down and you can just get in it. It's just got this ladder and then you just go up and it's quite big. I mean, that's quite, that's quite plush. And then it's got like the windows on the side. So in the morning we'll be able to see the sunrise. And Hazel, she she will be able to just climb up and down this ladder all night. In the back, we're running like a Mako, um, what is it? A, a Mako. It's a Waco. Waco. Was before. <laughs> Waco. 
Mako. Or Dometic. Not a fish. Dometic, it was Waco. Okay, so it, uh, is it like a 50? 40, I think. A 40. This is it. So um, it comes out, comes out like so. And then, oh my God, where's my dog? She's over there. There were just birds flying. I reckon bring these awnings back. <laughs> no. This is so hard. It's not, hey. it's not good. It's not ideal, is it? Perfect just for like a weekend fridge. Weekend size fridge is what we used to have, well, what we have in the ranger. No, this is smaller. This is way smaller. Bren, Jacob's dad is like, really good at keeping things clean so it's actually looking mint in there even though it's not a brand spanker but look to be fair that's probably the house tour is that a stick harvey you got a stick she needs water oh my god she's so she dirty needs water. she needs water here you go what well i don't know what the water sit are oh, this okay. one right here so we're using that look, oh my god she's see? so thirsty she's a thirsty puppy god we're terrible dog owners That poor dog. This is puppy ASMR. <laughs> oh my God, she was just like choking. She drinks too much sometimes and then she overdoes it. So and then she destroys it. Up. Gosh, the morning is stunning. We are up and we're just packing the tent up and then we're gonna go and show you the most incredible swim spot in the world. <laughs> Debatable because it's very cold. It's very cold. It's too cold. So but I am sort of like contemplating whether I get in just for you guys. I'm not getting in for me. That's for sure. Hello. We are in Binalong Bay and heading down to like a pretty cool little spot here where there's those like amazing red rocks that you see all the photos of. Lil reckons she's gonna get in and go for a swim. I reckon that it's too cold. Let's just go down here and sit down and just have a great time. Yeah, it's beautiful. And this isn't a national park. Yes. So you can come here, you can fly your drone, you can film, you can explore, and no one's going to yell at you. Yes. So what Lily was referring to there is, uh, you're not allowed to take photos in uh, the national park. I mean, well, you can. Well, I mean, I don't know if you, if you want to use them for monetization. I don't know who's watching, but for us, uh, we can't take photos and videos in the national park and use them for like monetization purposes so the license is like that's saying stupid like five hundred dollars which for us is like five times more than what we'd make on a youtube video so it's not really worth it uh, i know that to put a drone up in the national park for like a one-off permit is about four hundred dollars so it's um it's not ideal just out over this end bit here, I want ya. It's so cold in here. I'm not getting in though. It looks like it's summer. It looks like the most beautiful place in the world. Well, probably because it is, but not biased. All uh, right, I reckon you just go. Just run in, commit. Here she goes. Oh, she couldn't so, do it. I was so close. Just fall in. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, I've done it. <laughs> I've been in. <laughs> How was that? Well done on that. Hey on. What? Let me do another one that actually looks good. And then everyone will be like, she's actually a mermaid. Was that it? That was it. <laughs> There's another dog. So we've just finished at um, Binalong Bay, Bay of Fires area. 
and we're gonna head to I reckon one of our favorite places on the planet probably our favorite place on the planet if you've ever like met us and we've and talked we about, have spoken about this place yeah, and talked about Tasmania <laughs> this is our favorite place <laughs> it is so so funny so I'm really excited to show you guys but yeah we're just gonna take the scenic drive all the way inland a little bit and I feel like it's definitely one of those lesser known places in Tassie but I reckon it's probably one of our favorites oh yeah definitely This place is called Pine Garner Dairy. And if you're ever on the east coast, well, the northeast coast of, of Tasmania, this is the... This is the place to come. It's so good. You can sit and watch cows all day long. Yeah, you wait, we'll show you the cows. Hello. How good's this? It actually looks phenomenal. Grilled cheese. This is like $9.50. By the way, that's not bad. That's great, I reckon. For this and day and I don't. Yeah, definitely. I reckon that's great. And, and the view. We're gonna buy. Some Look stuff. at that. The view is phenomenal. Why are there not more people here? Is it? Is my question. Mmm. This is like one of the most interesting dairies I've ever seen. So there's a few gates here. I don't know if you can see, but the cows are wearing collars. Can you see that? You can see these cows here. They're going out and they come up through this gate and they go through like, like a booth that only, like they can only get through there once a day and the collars will only let them come through there once a day. They go this way, up through here, into the milkers, out that way, along here, and then out, there's one going out through that gate there. How crazy is that? Hello. Hello, mate. Would you like a pat? Ah, that's 955. A good friend of mine. There's also a scratcher oh God, over there. Oh. That's the nice. Ever seen. That was like, oh my, oh my god. I know. We've seen some cows in some pretty bad like positions, like out in the desert, just in the middle of nowhere. Can you imagine being a cow and living here? <sighs> yeah, they've got a pretty nice life. Though. Like, how good would it be? Yeah, it will be good. Hazel wants to make friends. Yeah, this one really likes Hazel. You guys. It's so hot. It's like such a different heat in Hobart, Tasmania. Oh, yeah. Like it's, the sun will burn you in two minutes. Sizzle ya. It'll sizzle ya. So, literally 300 meters up the road from where we were, is a place called Pub in the Paddock. Which I've never been to. You've never been to Pub in the Paddock? No. Iconic pub, and it's in a oh, paddock. it's busy. Yeah, well it's so iconic. Oh, this is Priscilla 2. <laughs> I wonder what happened to Priscilla 1. Priscilla! Is there any around? Oh my god, Priscilla. <laughs> Hi, Priscilla. Hello. Hazy, no. You like the beer? <laughs> That's terrible. That's
Tasmania 60 great short walks. Yeah, I've been on probably 20 of them. They're really good. Oh, wow. So they're only little. Weird they? flex, but okay. Yeah, I <laughs> don't have a little weird flex. to be the highest falls in Tasmania with a drop of 90 meters. Houses. That's a long drop. making more of these videos. I've missed like this like rainforesty sort of vibe, but like ferns. Big man Pumps. ferns everywhere. Yeah, man ferns everywhere. Yes. And like that's just Tassie in a nutshell, isn't it? Yeah, everywhere. Everywhere. Like growing out of other trees, growing out of like... The know, ground. The ground. Yeah. <laughs> like you're breathing in the freshest air in the whole world. Yeah, way. yeah, the smell like is unreal. Like my lungs feel like they've had a spring clean. <laughs> That's one like thing Like my I nostrils forgot. are just like so clean and fresh. No. Do you know that people sell bottled Tasmanian air? Yeah, they do. Overseas in places where there's lots of pollution. Mm. So <laughs> like why didn't we think it. of that? Because that is like the best business idea I've ever heard in my life. I know, bottled air. So team. Look, the thing about Tasmania in the comparison to the rest of Australia. You can't drive on the beach in Tasmania, mm. like anywhere. Like there's probably five or six places in the whole place, like the whole of the state that you can drive on the beach. Whereas like WA, every beach you every can drive Every beach on. you can drive on, yeah. I mean, not every beach, yeah. like a lot of the beaches. Yeah, definitely. And there's a very special beach that you can drive on that's like halfway up the east coast. Not many people know about it either. It's called Seymour Beach. And it's that perfect picturesque like white sand, blue water, and you can park your car on there and have lunch. So we're on our way down. It is it's five oh three. Yeah, it's like five o'clock. Like, so it's getting a little bit late, but in Tassie the sun doesn't set tonight until eight oh three. So like we still have three hours of daylight. We're gonna show you show you what all the fuss is about. I've never seen it say that before. Oops. Hope four-wheel drive works in Dad's car. Well, we will soon find out, won't we, Harvey? Beach though. It is. How stunning is that? Look at this fog on the water. It's like a, it's like a pirate ship's just gonna like come along there. And if you get a real big swell in here, it actually breaks in here really nicely. This has to be like one of the best places on the east coast. Look, this is a little abalone shell. Abalone. Look at the water.
Are you ready for the ride of your life? Who's gonna take it wide? Take it wide. You never know where you go on the sand. You slide around. And just gentle up this bit. So how do I do this bit? We'll just drive through it, but just go gently. Just like this? To me, that doesn't seem very gentle, but... Are you kidding? That was so gentle. Okay, you've done it. And she's done it very gently, hadn't she? That was gentle. Yeah, it was, it was good. Now you gotta go real slow on those bumps. Tell you what, if, I, if they'll drive more, we get more of these really great scenic shots, guys. And then here we are. Alrighty, my friends. We've decided what we're doing today. We're gonna take this out. Hasn't been going since, I think we're back in February, maybe? I think if you guys watch back there when we come back to Tasmania. All hands on deck, but it does start. Dust. Well, it goes, so that's good. So the weather reports that it's supposed to be mint, but Tasmania is a bit of a, like you just don't know what you're gonna get. You don't check the weather in Tasmania. What you do is you just go, leave before seven o'clock in the morning and come home before 10. And you're usually right. But we're leaving at 10, we'll probably get wet. Oh, it's what it is. Oh, I don't how you know going? Yeah. How you going? Hey, how are you? Yeah, I'm doing yeah, well, Yeah, I do. There you go. Where are you headed to today? Well, we're just going out to um, get fuel and then we might go back up to Orford. Up the river there? Yeah, out probably. Out the boat? Yeah, hopefully. No worries. Mate, your brake lights are not working on your trailer. Oh, okay. Uh, are the indicators working? The indicators do, okay. but the brake lights don't. Okay. Why does this always happen in Tasmania? Could be because we didn't check our brake lights. He seems like a really nice guy. Hopefully he just gives us a warning. So we got a defect notice. Love that for us. So it's fine. He said it's not a big deal. You just have to get it fixed within the next three weeks, which obviously we'll fix like today because Jakey reckons all it needs is just a bit of WD-40, but it's a good lesson that we need to check the brake lights every single time we leave. Yeah. Well, we're on the water, and I can tell you now, this boat feels like a bloody luxury liner in comparison to our other titty. Feels like just ginormous, and it feels like the sides are so high. Wow. I know. It's only an extra- It's insane. 700 mil longer. But it's wider and it's deeper. That it is. Okay, so there's a little bit of swell at the river mouth and I'm not super keen about it. It's pretty shallow. Oh my God. I'm so glad we're not in our little tinny. Because our tinny would not be coping right now. Oh my God, there's actual waves out there, you guys. There's actual waves. Shit. Oh, can I see it? Oi. Oh my god, we've hit the bottom and oh my god, shit, this is not good. We've broken the motor. Have we broken it? Shit, there's waves coming. Oh my god, it's actually broken. Oh my god, this is actually really bad. The camera's just died. Why? Why is it flat? Why are you using it if it's flat? Oh my god, I'm really scared. Oh my god, the camera just died, but the battery just... Oh my god, 
good we're grounded and there's waves. I'll go forward. Oh. That was so scary. It's bad. The tide is so low. Oh my god, thank god. That was bad. Yeah, it was. That was really bad. Oh my god. I don't know how much footage I got on the other drone on the other GoPro, but that was really bad. Oh my gosh. Just to update you guys on what just happened. We just went through the river mouth. There were waves at the river mouth and the tide is really low at the moment. So there were waves and the tide was really low. So we ended up hitting some of the waves and then our boat was sitting so far back that our motor starts like hitting the ground and it like fully cuts out and we're in the waves the motor cuts out and I'm like shit this could go really bad like if a wave hits us side on and then we're side on with no motor and then Jacob's trying to pull the starting like trying to pull the motor the boat wouldn't start and the boat wouldn't start like it literally wouldn't go like he pulled it like three or four times and it wouldn't go the starter motor wouldn't work it wouldn't yeah go on the starter motor and That's then yeah but it wasn't it didn't pull like first or second time you had to like keep pulling it then maybe after like the fourth or fifth pull then it started and then we finally got going but then we were still hitting the ground so i had to move to the front and the battery died well, before this happened, yeah, the battery died and the GoPro. But that's all right. Oh my God. Well, there's the update. That was so stressful. Here but, I yeah, was saying beautiful. how happy I was being in this big tinny, but... Well, you're lucky we were in this, not that. Yeah, shit. If we had been in that little tinny. It wouldn't have stopped that one, though. That one's a good motor. Mm, that's never cut out like that before. Like, when we've hit the ground, it just keeps going. Doesn't it? No, it doesn't. It does stop. But not, not like, not this like one. that did. Like that just this is, this touched the ground to like barely. This one's hard to start. Anyway, now I'm gonna have PTSD going back through the river mouth. It'll be fine because the tide will come up. What a day. Well, what a five minutes. This is a fishing channel. This is a big dog. Oh, oh no, a gurney. Damn. damn. Well done. We only needed the first fish. You got a little fish. I got a fish. I think this Oops. is the first fish that I've caught in a year. <laughs> Probably. But it's the bloody, oh. Oh, it's off. <laughs> That's all right, it was too small. And there's a wave. Just right now. There's waves breaking just here. Shit. Jacob. What? I'm scared. Do you know what I feel like right now? I feel like one of those idiots on those YouTube channels where they can't get through the bloody harbour. Oh, and the wind's picking up. Like this is just a nightmare! <laughs> oh my god! What? You just don't want to be on the land. It's crazy. That's Lil walking back. I just dropped her off at the beach. She uh, she's had enough of me. I think maybe I'll rev her up too much. She just gets really stressed out about stuff, so 
she just couldn't deal with it anymore, so I just had to let, let her back onto land. She'll be alright. Give her half an hour, she'll calm down. But I'm just gonna go through the bar, so. <laughs> Alrighty, it's down to one metre. I don't know whether this is dumb or not. Well, there's some waves coming. Wee, come on girl, come on girl. Come on, girl. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. We're through the bar. We got through, and uh, that was actually really scary. <laughs> But it was fine. How fun, actually. Like, that was really fun. I'd like to go back through again. What a good time. <laughs>